I was talking to a client and the client asked me, Zaid, would you buy a home in this environment today? And my answer is yes, I'm actually buying three properties in this environment. Hey everyone, this is Zaid Hanna with the Hanna Group here at Real Estate 38. And we try to give you real-time information so that you are in the know here with the real estate market. So today, I was talking to a client and the client asked me, Zaid, would you buy a home in this environment today? And my answer is yes, I'm actually buying three properties in this environment. Now, I usually buy homes when the market goes down, not when the market is going up. Remember, you make your money if you're an investor or an owner-occupied person, when you buy a home, it's not when you sell. I know it's counterintuitive, but if you get it low and you sell high, really making the money is when you actually get the price of the home low. So let's back up a little bit and let me tell you about my story. So coming out of the 2008 market environment, that was the crash, that was the uh, Great Recession. It was one of the worst markets that we've seen in the past 50 years for the housing market. Now, as I came out of that, I got married in 2010 and we wanted to buy a home. My wife and I wanted to buy a home uh, and that was our first home together. In 2011, we bought a home for $453,000. We, now we turned around and we actually sold the home in 2016 for $965,000. We literally doubled in value in those four years. Now we moved because we had our first child. We went to a neighborhood that had better schools, a better layout. In 2016, mind you, in 2011, we saw that we're getting out of the Great Recession, we didn't know where we were going. In 2016, it was Brexit. It was England getting out of Euro. There was a lot of turmoil. Stock market entered into bear market. Regardless, I bought a home in 2016. And of course, that home is now has doubled since I've purchased it in 2016. And also in 2019, when we were blessed with our second child, we wanted more space, wanted more backyard, wanted more square footage from a home. So we bought in 2019. Now, if you were in the market in 2019, the common consensus was you don't buy a home, you don't change your job, a recession is coming. Of course, nobody knew COVID was coming, but in 2019, no one bought a home. So I bought and got a hell of a deal on that home. Of course, that is my home today in 2019. So what I'm really telling you is that, see, I didn't buy a home trying to time the market. I bought a home because it was the right time to buy a home in that market. My thing was, can I afford it? The answer is yes. Then I, we want to buy a home because our lifestyle wanted it. Now, the interesting part is that I'm an investor now in the next month, two, three, six months, as we go through this, whatever timing we're going through right now, I am going to buy three properties. Now, I'm an investor in that environment. Yes, I do want to get a better deal and I'm ready to buy, you know, what Warren Buffett says, you want to buy when the market actually is going down. So this is the right environment for a buyer. Now, those are some of the things that I'm going through when I got asked that question is for me to tell our clients, this is the right time to buy. I'm in it. I'm actually buying. So in the past two years, it brought us a lot of pain. What I mean was, after COVID, it was this artificial push, let's go buy a home. What did that mean to our buyer? Well, there was a lot of FOMO, fear of missing out. Uh, now, FOMO was, I need to buy a home, I need to hurry up, scarcity mentality, let me get in before the prices go up, and because the interest rates were so low, you know what, I can throw $100,000 on top of fair market value and let me just get in. Now on the flip side, right now things are slowed down. I can show you two months worth of inventory, three months of worth of inventory, meaning we have more actives than we have pendings in this environment. So can you buy out of necessity, out of security, pride of ownership, that school pocket you've been wanting to actually get your child ready and prepared for? Yes, absolutely. You don't have to compete as crazy. Now, if the home is underpriced, you're still going to be competing. There are a lot of buyers still out there, but they're on the sideline watching, saying, okay, when is the best time for me to get in? Can you buy in without any stress? Can you sell your home and buy another home without the stress of, oh my God, if I sell my home, I can find another one. Yes, this is a great time for a move up seller buyer. If you have government loans like FHA or VA where the sellers didn't even entertain that offer because there was so many cash offers or offers with high down payments, this is the great environment for you to actually get in and own that home for the next 20, 30 years. It's not about timing. Is it the right time for your family? So. I also was talking, in fact, last week to another buyer 
And he said, I've been in this market watching for the past five years, waiting for the market to go down. Now, what's interesting, in 2022, the first three months, we went up by 20%. We gave that back by about August of this year. Now we're seeing another 5 to 10% drop, which I believe we will see that going into next year. So the question becomes is, how can we get you a deal in this environment while the interest rates are high? So I can actually show you that with a calculator that we have that, hey, can you buy the same home that you would have bought in January or February and still have the same monthly payments? The answer is yes. In fact, it may actually be lower, meaning if the home has gone down about 25 to 30%, yes, the interest rate went up by 2 to 3%. So for every 1% rise in interest rate, it drops the monthly payment down by 10%. So we can actually still get that deal. And historically, and what we have seen, Whenever we head into a recession, some people are saying it's coming, some people are saying not necessarily because of the consumer spending. But regardless, what we know is that when we go into a recession, usually we see lower long-term interest rate where you can turn around and refinance that 5-6% rate that you would have right now. There are many other programs like a 2-1 buy-down. What is that? We ask the seller to pay for the first year 2% 2, 2 drop the first year, then the second year 1% drop, and then it goes to zero the third year, but that's exactly what we're trying to achieve. As the rates drop, you can refinance and you don't have to worry about that accelerated monthly payment. So what I'm really saying is the prices are down and also we can actually drop your interest rate so your monthly payment are more comfortable if you actually buy in this environment. See, there's a lot of tactics that a lot of our buyers are doing to get into this market so they don't have to compete. Now, here's what we know about the Santa Clara market, Santa Clara County market. Historically, we have doubled every 10 years for the past 50. You could mine that data. It's out there. In fact, my dad bought his home when we came as immigrants in 94 into this country. In 98, we purchased. That home was 280000 that same home at the peak was $1.6 million. I always joke around and tell my dad and mom, you're millionaires. They're like, well, son, if we sell, we have to buy another house. But regardless, my point is, is that if you had bought a home 30 years ago, that home is now 3X. Now, the same thing I did in 2011 to 2016. Great timing. See, again, we bought a home because I got married. My wife and I bought a home. It doubled in four years. So when that train moves in terms of when the market gets back to normal, the stock market is up, interest rates are now getting low, and the buyer sentiment is strong, you're competing with a lot of buyers, guys. The job market in Santa Clara County is very strong and is going to continue to be strong. So every 10 years we double. The job market is very strong. During the recession, the interest rates will drop. Now, inventory, by the way, 2022, we saw less inventory in comparison to 21, 30% less. A lot of the economists are predicting we're going to see even 30% less inventory in 23 in comparison to 22. Now, in the Bay Area, we have a lot of equity. So if you're thinking about foreclosures, that's pretty much non-existent. Why? Because we have gone up so much in pricing and there are barely any loans on these homes. And typically, the sellers would sell it in the open market. Now, a lot of sellers are not moving because they're saying, I don't have to move right now. So that's why we're not dropping in price. Now, remember, in 2022, we went up 20% the first quarter. We gave that back. So now what we really have seen is about a 10% drop from true numbers. So if you guys want real numbers, if you're thinking about buying a home, don't just jump in. Let us guide you. Let us give you all the data so you're well-educated in going into this market with a lot of tools and empowered to say, you know what? I do want to buy a home. Do feel, feel free to reach out, 408-515-1613, and I'll be happy to speak to you in guiding you home. Whether your next purchase is in a month or six months from now, I want you to be in the know. All right, guys, we'll see you.